Hi there, welcome back. I'm here, I'm going to show you how to take this little elephant image and bring it into Max Stitch and create a pattern for it. So my first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Max Stitch and I'm going to hit New. Change my settings. I like 40 inches by 40 inches. Now I'm going to open this and I'm going to import my image. Alright, now I have to change the settings. Alright, so now here is the picture. You see, don't need any more. We've got this here. Now we have to go back in and check the size. And we wanted it to be 160 by 160. I zoom in and I can see the grid. And what my objective is, is to take away unnecessary color and only keep the ones that I want to use. Once that's complete, then, because I have to go through and I have to color everything, so for example, I have to go in and I have to color all these speckles in. I'm going to try and do this relatively quick. That's why I picked a relatively easy image. Some pictures, they take a, a quite a long time to draw in. Okay, so what I've got is I've got my tablet and my pen here so then I can go in much quicker. You can zoom in and scroll down. I think the really cute thing for this is that all the blue can be changed to pink and you can make one for a girl and one for a boy. Basically, I'm trying to figure out which colors to remove. 
and so what I can do is I go highlight and you've got all of this. This is the main elephant. Okay. And you've got this one. And they're just speckled throughout. See, that's what makes it a little more challenging. So See how clean the lines are for this blue that we just finished? That's what you want it to look like. Now when you look at these, you've got specks everywhere. This one's okay. Actually, that one's near perfect. And then you've got here. This is a lot of specks, so here we go. Here's a good example. What I'll do with this one is I'll actually change it. I will replace this active thread and I change it to a color that I can see really well. So I'm going to pick lavender. And, uh, and then I'm going to go through here. And we've got that one. So what I do is I'll unselect this highlight. Okay. And then you can flash it. You can see where they are, which is... Well, I was wondering there was lines right in the middle, but that's another one I can change. Uh, replace this thread, and choose lavender. It's 208. 208. There it is. Select it. There. So this is what I do. I um, go process elimination, process of elimination, and I remove all the colors. So, oh, and then you've got this one. See how it has only two st stitches to it? Let's see, where is it? Oh, it's saying that... Oh, that's just the number, sorry, it's saying there are 104 stitches. My mistake. going to go in and oops. touch it up. All right, I'm gonna do a little more coloring and then I'll come back in a little bit and uh, show you the next step. Thanks for tuning in. Hi there, okay, so I'm back and I've eliminated, as you can see on the top left, a couple of the lavender colors. They're now at zero and there's only 60 left. So what I'm still doing is process of elimination and just narrowing down the colors. So what I have just done, where it's purple, I can actually replace that active thread with white. 
Another thing I can do is with the ones that have zero stitches, we're just going to remove that thread from the palette. Remove active thread from palette. Now I was going to just delete these purple, but by deleting them, it will leave a hole. And your best bet is to just go and color them in. Uh, I was using beaver gray. Oh, is it beaver? Nope, sorry, it's tin. getting there. And then you've got this thing, and I'm also using the uh, original picture as a reference on my other monitor, so then I know where I'm going to put certain lines. So there. That looks good. Um, Now we're going to look here, we've got another zero, so that way we can remove active stitches from the palette. Okay, now we look here, we've got 33, so I want to know where those 33 are. I just want to highlight them, we'll see they are just randomly placed somewhere. So we're going to change this active thread, we're going to make it uh, lavender again. That way I can see them. I like lavender. It's just wherever color you can see. There we are. Now I'm going to take the light gray. I'm going to color in all this purple. Now it's zero, we remove it. Now we are down to white, to gray, and just the colors that we need. So now I do a test and I go highlight all these colors. And I look at how clean the lines are. That looks good. Looks good. And see, there's a couple edges I just want to fill in. If I hadn't colored in those squares and I just deleted them, they would show up here as empty squares and I would have to go and color them in anyway. So there, everything looks perfect. Now what I do is I'll just zoom out, turn off this highlight, there we go. Now I'm going to save it, I'm going to save my project, call this uh, elephant.
And now what I'll do once it saves, I like to then go save as, uh, no, that's not what it is. I want to save a picture. So you go export and right here, export is a stitched view and you can say large. There, look at that. And then you can actually look at it and see how the edges look. And I just scroll, I'm scanning through, just seeing if anything just pops out wrong at me. And it kind of does because when I look at it now, here's the image. So what pops out is this, is it flares in, not out. And I want to cut this little bit of ear shorter. And the rest seems all right. So then I'm just going to push that away and go here. I wanted to just make it a little, oops, new blue. There we go. It's filling with the blue. And right there. And the other one was, oh, I see here. That one looks weird. And then we said that it was supposed to pop out more. So I'm just going to just drag my mouse over here and just see how it draws it in. And now, that might look a little okay. Now, hit save. And then I export that photo again. Stitched view. There it is. Alright, so that looks cute. Okay, now uh, what we're really doing right now is just looking at the lines and let everything matches. Okay, so what we will do now, say that that is all complete. Now this is where you can play the colors. So hey, we can, let's say, replace active thread. And let's make it with a rose. Okay, there. And now we're gonna go uh, save as for a girl, or I'm gonna say pink. Elephant pink. And then I'm going to color it back to blue, which is a light blue. And as you can see, there's lots of choices for colors. Baby blue, that works. Done. And then I'm going to hit save as. I'm going to call this blue. We have three grays and white. Now, if you don't want white, you can also change that background. Um, if in the pattern you see white, then use whichever color you need. Oh, that looks terrible. <laughs> see, it is undo. There we go. And now here's another thing with the eyes. The eyes are a different white. So we're gonna add Snow White to our palette. Hit save. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna color the eyes Snow White. 
because what will happen is if I change the background that's white to a different color, the eyes will be in, included in that change. So there we go. We just say uh, highlight. See how that looks. Great. Great. Now this is like where I go around and you pick and choose the colors. So you've got your blue elephant. Now to change, um, to make a pattern, we simply go Tunisian crochet graph gown. And you can look at all these drop downs, but really you do nothing. You alternate right and left because that's what you do. The thread name, and that's what's important. And then top to bottom. Now, before you hit this, let's cancel. What we want are very short names. So you could say that this is, you can change it and say, uh, where is it? Right here. You go dark gray. Okay, done. Then you go light blue, edit. Okay, we're just gonna go light blue. This is light gray. Done. And then this is going to say white. Yes. Yes. And then, or you could just go at it. Instead of white, I'll say uh, background. Okay, background. And that way, if you find something that you like, you can change it. So let's hit save. Now I'm going to export this as Tunisian crochet. And now when it says thread names, they're much lighter. Oh, and I forgot to change the tin. So let's go back. We need to know which one this is. So that's this one. So you've got dark gray for the feet and eyes. You've got light gray for the main elephant. And then you've got a medium gray. Dark gray. Okay, we'll call this one medium gray. It's just how it can make sense. And it doesn't even have to stay dark, light, medium. If you want a blue elephant, just take everything that says medium gray and make it your blue. And everything that's gray or dark and light, make it light, lighter blue, darker blue. So there, and so to save. Um, now, because I want that other one to be identical, I want to uh, the other one, the pink, the pink uh, pattern. I don't want to have to have any changes in either one, so I just change that to pink. Hit save. Go back to that file that is called pink. There you go. Replace it. There we go. Now, if I go here and I just go undo, it goes back to blue. So now let's do this. Let's go export. We've already got the stitched view. We don't need that. You could do a thumbnail PNG, but then we're just going to go to here again. And this is where you say make a text file. And this is going to be called Elephant Blue. Save. And there it is. There's the written pattern working top to bottom. And there's 22 rows of 160. Then you've got the elephant. Then you've got medium gray, light gray, dark gray, medium gray. And then what you take this, you go here and you go export as a PDF so that when you print it, it stays um, in that point of view, in this formatting. Now, we just go over here and we're gonna find, oops, where is it? here we go. We're gonna open this one. We're gonna open the pink one. And I'm gonna do the same thing, export Tunisian crochet. 
and again the, th the threads are labeled longer but we're going to leave it for this instance and now we're going to do this pink save Feeling it might have overrode that. Oh, here it is. There it is. Pink. All right, and there's the written pattern for pink. I'm not sure um, about the naming structure with the dark and the light. I might spend some time and modify that a little bit. But I'm gonna post this on the website. And if you want to access it, you can. Again, this is elephant pink and blue. And now I have this text of the pink and we always want to create a PDF. There. So now in the end, what we've got we have a um, couple files that are, here's the stitched view, the pro, uh, sorry, the project file, and then we got the pink one, and here's the stitch view, the pink one, and then the project file. So there we go. Um, I'm just checking out some other files here just to see if we need that one. There was also the mint. I'm going to put this one in there too. Let's just see here. And if we open this guy. Oh, look at that. It's the mint. It's the sky blue. So let's make a pattern for that. Export. Oops. Export. Tunisian crochet. Elephant, but then you've got sky blue, very light, and we can go save as, export as a PDF, same thing, save, and there, that's all. And now I'm going to upload all three of these so that you can have them. Okay, thank you everybody, thanks for watching, bye.